Hello, Archibald Chesterfield the third here. How are you fuckers today? Nasty, vicious fuckers. And today I want to talk about the Archie Luxury Collection. And it's really had a huge change of plan. We've uh, we've gotten very Rolex centric. But uh, is this the perfect collection, fuckers? Now let me explain. Let's look at the the similarities here, fuckers. Okay, we have got a collection which consists of two gold pieces and two steel stunners. Two gold and two steel. That sounds pretty good to me. And the other thing is too, is that you got two sports watches, one gold, one steel, and, and fuckers, you've also got two dress watches. So it's really quite, it's really quite amazing collection. What do you fuckers think? Two golds, two steel, two sports, to dress it's they they're sort of interrelated we've got we got the sports watches we've got a explorer 2 a rolex explorer 2 and in the um in the in the dress range we've got a jager la culture reverso and we've got a a Rolex day date. It doesn't get more beautiful than that, fuckers. It don't get more beautiful, more desired than that. So I really want to run it by the audience. What do you fuckers, you nasty, vicious fuckers, think of the collection? I, I really want to pose this question. What do you fuckers think of the collection? Is it your cup of tea? I can say one thing for sure, it's a very Rolex-centric collection. I mean, we got three Rolexes and a Jager LeCoultre. It's also, it's very, it's very, 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 it's very blingy, isn't it? Two solid gold Rolexes, you know, they're not hort horology pieces, they're just fuck off, get the fuck out of my face, you piece of shit sort of watches. Very um, upmarket and uh, very tastefully done. It's the Lotto Winners, the Lotto Winners Circle. And I, I'm keen to hear from the audience, what do you reckon, fuckers? Is it your cup of tea? Would you support it? Would you go for it if it was your, your collection? Has it got, has it got legs, fuckers? Does this fucker have legs? You tell me, what do you fuckers think? Has it got legs? And I kind of, you know, this is a really interesting collection we've got. We've got so many bases covered. We've got dive watch. We've got a GMT watch. we got a complication, which is the, uh, the reverso. And we got the ultimate in, in dress watch. With, we've got hort horology. We've got so many fucking things happening in these four, four fuckers. And uh, I'd really like to hear what the audience says. What do you think, fuckers? Now, you know I'm not going to respond to any comments you leave in the uh, description here, but please humor me anyhow. Humor me anyhow, fuckers. Humor me, fuckers. I want to hear what you nasty, miserable fuckers think of the collection. Tell me what you think. Is it a cool collection or is it not your cup of tea? Tell me, fuckers. Come on. Come on, fuckers. Tell me what you think. I want to know. I'm a big boy. I can stand it. Tell me. Tell me, fuckers. Tell me what you think. And uh, I think it's got legs. I think it's got legs. Four fuckers in this collection 
and I'd love to hear what you nasty, miserable fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great collection. Not sure if it's as good as the Archie 5, but... We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car, you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel i doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.